go from inside and lock the doors first and then directly head on top to the navigation bridge yeah so this is my cabin as you've seen in the earlier videos now we will take the elevator straight to g deck and uh, you can see over here most of it is covered a b c d e is where i stay what i as i showed you F Tech is the first assistant engineer. That is the second engineer. T officer. On G Deck, we've got the chief engineer and the captain's cabin. We've got the navigation locker and battery room, captain's cabin. So this is okay. I'll just show you this. Let's see. One second. So this over here is the pilot's cabin and um, you can see the view outside. So you can see the entire mast of the ship. This is the pilot's cabin for long pilotages. Cabins, uh, pilots come over here in this cabin and chill for a while. So this is the pilot's cabin. Let's move out quickly. This thing is the navigation locker so as you can see like for we've got the ups backups and all for our agdis for radars so it's all about this and this sets you can see over here is for the gyro compass so we've got uh two compasses as per the regulations and yeah this is a navigation lo uh, locker, radar mass tilting system. As you as you have seen in my earlier videos about the radar mass tilting, so this is the power source from there for for that antenna, and um, we've got a distribution board over here. We've got the PA system. PA system is like the loudspeaker on the ship. Like you from the bridge or other locations, you can just access all the speakers on the ship. So this is for the PA system over here. And this is the navigation locker guys. Let's move on top quickly and let's cover the navigation bridge. So done with the G deck over here. You can see this is G and down there the board will be blue color. So I'm heading now to the navigation bridge. And uh, what we have over here is a red light. So it should be a, a light that doesn't interfere much with the normal operations because if it's some light of any other color, so what happens is like when we open the door, people who are navigating in the dark will get disturbed. So we have a red light. And I'll just check what is alarm that we call. Okay, so this thing is for the sad C. Okay, so sad C. This is basically a GMDSS equipment. GMDSS stands for Global Maritime Distress Safety System. And this over here is the place where we do our navigation. So yeah guys, this is the place where we do our navigation and I've just turned on this red lights for a bit of cinematic effect. So I'll just switch it back to normal first. Okay. So similar concept, red light is used to avoid any disturbance from the normal light over here. And I will show you all the equipments one by one. So let's start with the chart table. This thing is over here called the chart table. 
we used to have before when there was a time we had charts so that time this thing was used but it was huge so now you can see the chart table size has also got small we've got only just the basic paperwork over here whatever is required like a couple of logbooks um, as you can see this is called the tech logbook so after each watch what happens basically is if everybody just all the watch keepers will lock down all the information of the watch like how much was the pressure how much was the temperature how much was the humidity the weather the wind how much is the force of the wind what course are we doing what course have we steered what's the magnetic course and uh, some details uh, regarding the watch so this is called the deck log book and then we've got some other also information over here not getting much into details this thing is called the bell book and uh, similarly here also like while we are going alongside a berth or departing from it any notices given to the engines what's the position what's the pilot boarding time what time was the tugs made fast everything all the instructions all the information is basically logged in the bell book which can further be reprodu uh, reproduced as evidence if anything goes wrong we and we so it's basically just a written copy of everything that is going on so this is the bell book then we have the radar log book again um, after each watch the watch the officers will uh, make a note on the radar what is the location what's the weather have the experienced any problems with the radar what why was the radar used everything so this is called the radar log book similarly we have other books this is called the master's night order book so every night the captain will write uh, the night orders that is to be followed by all the navigating officers who are navigating so with so there is a lot of things over here if i get into detail the video is going to get longer so without wasting much time let's head and check every equipment one by one so starting with our first equipment over here it's not an equipment it's just a panel we have a panel of lights uh navigation light tech light so this one two three panels are only for lights okay so i'll just show you a closer look of it okay so these are like i said the panels only for lights now this is all touch okay so you can see here this touch if i do this it will turn on the light do that it will put it off so this is all the lights over here this is for all the signals like if you are supposedly now we have dangerous cargo on board so we have the dg light on if we want to put any other lights according to whatever we require we can just manually switch on one one light from there this is for the navigation lights whatever navigation lights we want so this is a panel for that then moving on this are basic speed lock display <coughs> we've got a G gps display over here we've got a switch to use whichever gps we want this thing over here as you can see is called the vhf um so we use the vhf for communications basically if we are supposedly going inside a port and we want to call the pilots so we call them on the vhf simple as that vhf is used for that this thing over here this blue display that you can see right now is the electronic chart it's called the ecdis and uh, now we don't have paper charts on board so we use ecdis so the second officer will use the ecdis for planning purposes and um, so it, it's made job much more easier because in earlier earlier days we had uh, paper charts on board so it used to be a headache doing them i am fortunate enough to not be in that time so i have used ecdis from the start so i'm familiar with the ecdis after moving on from the ecdis over here we have the radar so there are two radars on board one is the x band other in that side if you can see that is the s band okay so radar is basically it will send out radar beams over uh, in all directions and if there's a target you will get a small blip a small paint we call it paint so this is the radar it's currently switched off and um, then moving on this thing over here is called the helm basically gaadi ka wheel jaisa hi hota hai to yahan se ye ghumate hai and piche behind is your radar that will keep moving and then you can go whichever direction you want so this is the helm and i if 
it's on okay so i'll just switch it over here because uh, right now the steering motors are not yet on so once i switch that on you can give the helm on either sides okay so this panel over here is for the autopilot so most of the time we use the autopilot only only while arrival or departure from a port we use the helm because that that's the time when you need accurate uh what we say maneuvers and with the autopilot you cannot give major alteration so that's when this comes handy okay then we have a gyro compass over here and if you can see from here this is the magnetic compass so okay so uh, that light you can see that is actually the compass it is showing you the reading of the compass um no it's not coming clear on the lens but yeah this will show you the magnetic compass and if you still have doubt if you can't read it then we have this thing over here which will digitally give you the magnetic compass reading then over here this thing that we have is for the engine control it's called the telegraph and you can give your engine controls from here so this is the telegraph navigation full full half slow dead ahead dead slow ahead dead slow astern slow astern half astern full astern all the commands are given from here and this is a small switch over here so this is for the, like the main thing and then you can control it minutely from here also so this is the engine control panel and we've got emergency stops and other buttons over here so not fidgeting much with this this is all for the steering system okay this is called the nfu nfu is non follow up it's basically like the helm only but like a joystick so what you will be doing is you're going to maneuver such a big thing such a beast of a ship with just this with just doing this how cool is that like such a big thing such a big huge vessel with just the small stick you're going to maneuver with that okay with that being said moving on to the next thing similarly like the one i showed you earlier this is the s band radar this is another egdis uh, system over here and um, then we've got a couple of other things over here same a vhf a vdr which is basically like your black box on the plane that records everything that is going on it will record all the uh, all the voice all the even if we give any helm orders or anything like that everything is recorded what was the course of the ship or the speed of the ship if there are any doors open in the ship everything is recorded in that thing over there and there's a capsule fit on top i'll show you that also okay so then we've got a couple of other things like a pump and other things over here emergency fire pump bilge pump not getting much into detail this over here is our cctv uh, display so you can you know what all is going on the ship by just simply looking at at this display over here so this is over here this is the bridge part that's the forward this is the aft station these are the wings now this is the sea side you can see the starboard wing over here this is the engine room so this is the entire display cctv display and this thing like i showed you in the ship office this is same the ballast panel you can select many other things that you want okay so anyways if i show you the keyboard this is not like a normal keyboard the mouse is like a ballpoint mouse and even for the egdis and radar like the keyboards are like this so it's not like a normal mouse it's like a roller over here you select and then you can change with this knob you can do a couple of other things yeah so this is it other than that this is the entire navigation panel over here and this panel over here will tell you if your doors and all are closed so this is the panel for that then we've got a fire alarm indication we've got a pilot door panel okay so couple of other panels over here not getting much into detail then over here what we have is the place where we make coffee this is a water dispenser this is the pantry kind of thing a uh, heater we've got coffee we've got tea over here okay that's taking out the container super fast huh? 
Anyways, oh, we've got some snacks in over here and some more over here too. So you are all set when you come for your four four hours of watch on top. You've got food. You just make your coffee. You do your watch. Sit out there. Look out. Enjoy and get paid for that. I mean, what more do you want in life than that? Have good coffee. Look outside. Get paid. Simple. Okay. So over here we have another coffee machine. Uh, we've just got this newly fixed, and I actually love having coffee from here. So we've ordered a filter coffee from Paradise. I don't know. I've not tried this one. I've had the Lavasa one. I like the Lavasa coffee. That's good. And um, yeah, that's all what I do for watch also. Once we are in open ocean, not much of traffic. Just make some good coffee, sip some good coffee, look out, and have a good time. That's all I keep doing. So this is it, guys. This is the navigation bridge, and um, let's move out, and I'll show you the view from outside. So this thing is called the bridge wing. because if you look from outside it looks like two wings the accommodation has got so let's come to one end of it this over here is just another repeat of the compass so this is the bridge wing and that's the entire ship of us okay so when we boarded over here actually there was another ship over here which was if it was the year 2000 21 that ship ahead would have been the largest ship in the world but it's departed so i can't show you that right now anyways um, we've got this panel over here uh so we have another one on the starboard side of the wing we have at the port side of the wing this is same like the navigation uh, panel but this is over here on this side it's all interconnected so if i give a helm uh, telegraph order over here it will go inside and then that will go to the engine room and then they will acknowledge that and that's how the engine orders are given so this also has a couple of things like the rudder angle indicator this will tell you your speed this is another vhf then we've got the bt bt stands for bow thruster it's at the forward part of the ship that is to move the head of the ship so it's a vertical fan kind of thing situated at the forward which will turn the head of the ship on whichever side you want so again this is like the same stick which i showed you over there with a small stick you're going to move such a large vessel to wherever you want yeah yo so i'm just closing this panel for now and i'll show you the ship side so we are almost um, about 65 meters above water level at this position and this is the entire view of the ship so we are almost done over here uh finished all the decks and i'll just take you on top to the monkey island which is the highest most deck of the ship so since i finished everything i'll just show you this thing also so heading on top to the monkey island Okay guys so here we are we are the monkey island over here and there's cargo work going on just beside us so it's picking up a container right now i'll just get a side okay anyways this thing is the highest most part of the ship it's called the monkey island and as you as you've seen in my earlier videos that is the mast that we had lowered down before this is the monkey island this is the magnetic compass and this is the ship's whistle the ship's whistle is over here and you do want to be standing anywhere nearby when this thing is blown trust me okay and also what i was showing you that i was telling you about the black box so <clears throat> So this is where all the information is collected in this unit over here. 
and a couple of satellite uh, this is a dinma sat what the, the dome in, is there inside that okay so this is it so i've completed the entire accommodation in this video and um, i hope you liked it guys um the next video will be on the engine so i'm there's another passage down which i'm going to show you in the next video it's a long passage over there and there's another secret passage on top so all that i'm going to cover in the next video that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it guys this is from abu dhabi we are at the port of abu dhabi khalifa port and i'm standing right now at the top most part of the ship and with a beautiful view of the ship and of the city i hope you enjoyed this video so i'm just going to shut this video over here and head to my cabin so thank you guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and um, hit that like button if you liked it and the bell icon so it will give a notification each time i upload a new video and i plan on making more view uh, videos further so stay tuned thank you so much and have a nice day